and it looks like they want to go to Fire Capital. Oh, they're striking Fire Capital and Rockwell. Well, Tower of Heaven it is, guys. Let's go. Game one in this winner's grand finals. We have uh, Fargo coming from the loser side and Ramen coming from winners. Uh, I can't really put that because our overlay isn't set correctly, but uh, that's how it is. All right. Well, and Ramen getting their early kill off the top. Man, I came in just in time. Yeah, game one just started. Oh, he went for another risky oh, down. Is that it? The, oh, no. It's, he it ain't finished it. with them. Oh, it might be it. <laughs> oh, my God. He's not done with them yet. Ramen's the god. He's toying with them. This is some cup of noodle shit, dude. We got this. <laughs> the god. Oh, man. Ramen. Ramen, oh my god. I uh, almost could have taken him off the top. Alright, calling it a side kill. Gosh, his coverage with the bubble is so good. Oh my gosh, an edge cancel down air. Such good placement from Dank Ramen Boy. Off the top. Whew. And we thought Rasta we were gonna take people off the top. That's his ramen guy. It's ramen boy. This is a man. Who gets taken off the top and <laughs> he taunts. Rasta's having fun, he ain't afraid. He's happy to be in top two. A little bit of a pause there. What is this his ranking in state? Uh, in where? In this game. I don't know. I haven't checked. Because I, I know he used to live in Idaho, and now he lives in Utah. And I haven't checked on what his ranking is. I could oh, probably okay. look it up. It's probably pretty high. He beat Plus, he's number one. Yeah, I bet he's like definitely top three. Yeah, for sure. Actually sounded really yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> it was so well with the music. Let's hope it was in sync. <laughs> yeah, actually. Alright, so this what stage is this called? Fire, um Fire Capital? I don't know. I don't think Blazing it's Hideout is what it is. Yeah, it's not Fire Capital. Fire Cap Fire Capital is like the castle. Yeah. And it doesn't have like burning forces in the background. My family was born in that forest. <laughs> Moved there once sixty years ago. That was my favorite tree. That was my favorite tree. That's my other favorite tree. Yeah. <laughs> Ramen is really good with his bubble plays. He's oh very yeah. Careful about it. He's like one of the best Rano players out there. Like in the world? Yeah, personally I think because I asked him about other Rano players. He's like statistically he's like one of the best. One of the best. Yeah. Oh, you can control the bubbles placement too. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, oh I didn't take him off God. the top. Less than a minute. Already losing a stack. Oh, is he about to hit him with the side clap? Got him where? Side clap! Side slap! Slide clap! Oh. Five feet! Oh no, he saved side him! Slap. I think he actually saved him. Dang, Robin Boy could have possibly died. Side clap! <laughs> side clap! God bless your soul. Side clap! Side clap! <laughs> God bless. Right, this game's still looking pretty close. Yeah, it's looking to be very even. Rasta having a better feel for the game. But watch Dink Robin Boy make us eat our words. Yeah, actually. Oh, off the top. Oh, uh, it's got a pretty high ceiling. Yeah, it looked it. Side clap? Oh, it's gonna be a top up clap! clap! <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be an up clap. Next stock, he's gonna take him off the side. Oh my gosh, he's actually going in. Yeah, he's going in. He got the feel. He has the feel. He's got he's the feel. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's got caught in his own bubble. He's going to take him off the top? Nope, not quite. Tried to go for a side clap, but it was a bit too late on that. And Dank Robin Boy's going to get some edge guards with the back air up oh. with the downwards. Oh. Oh. 
it's the kill. Oh, it's that move is so weird. Like how it, the it, hitboxes make you like yeah. thrown away. I don't know. I guess it's like depending on where you hit the down air. He came up with the clap. That's cool. Yeah, the clap is so strong. It's a strong attack. Oh, it doesn't get the sweet spot. We're not too risky to take it from there. The Dank Robin Boy told me like that fly move that he does that gives him like puts him in the free fall. It's like Puff's rest. If you get the sweet spot, it's like a dominating hit. And, and get a side clap. Whew! We're gonna go to take game two. Alright, we're in a game three situation here. Oh boy. Well can Ferrago actually take this? It's a bit too early to ask, but can he? It's definitely possible. Yeah, because Dank Robin Boy is like a top 50 player in yeah. the world. It's really, really good. Who's number one at this game? Uh, that I am unaware. Uh, I just learned from what people have talked about him. Alright, we went to the rock tower things. Rock walls. This bean- oh, what? <laughs> Looking at like, Rano's face when he gets parried yeah, by that. Yeah, it's really funny. It's like, oh my tongue. Oh. I don't know what I hit. It wasn't spike. <laughs> oh my gosh, get them with right, the spike. Alright, that early spike kill. Oh man. I feel like this is a great stage for Dang Ramen Boy. Yeah. Welcome back, Dust. We're doing well. We got Here our other commentator back. We got three commentators. Okay. <laughs> boys and poison for case caps. <laughs> <Yeah. boys. laughs> I always thought, like, you know, you have that moment where you have, like, four commentators in one game. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you say that's fine to have four commentators in Smash or Rivals? Or is it too much? I think that's, I think that's warranted. <laughs> warranted? Yeah. Okay. I think two is usually enough. Three is, like, generally. Yeah. Solo commentary can get really boring. Yeah. Yeah. As long, two, unless two they two actually... optimal. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's some where it's, like, you want to hear their opinion, like, how they treat a lot of situations and, like, yeah. just a lot of their insight. But, like, uh, generally two commentators is just the magic number. But we're, three is fine because me and DGL make up a half. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a whole commentator here. Yep. <laughs> running the stream. Alright, today I'm going to talk only in my Kronk voice, so uh, <laughs> we have Ramen here. He's one of the best froggers around. <laughs> he takes frog. away, he waits Whoa. for the bubble to burst. He bursted that bubble real good. Is that like <laughs> mashing? <laughs> I don't like... know, but I do know like the timing of it was perfect enough for him to take that was amazing. That I don't was know really how long good. it takes the bubble to burst, but it bursted. <laughs> it bursted. When it bursted, it that bird bursted. went burp, burp. <laughs> and it was gone. The bird went burp. The bird goes <laughs> Alright, he's gonna go for the side wing. Right. See, I even called. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm right. about to get clapped. Oh, oh he's, oh, he's gonna go for that up air. Not quite gonna work. He's gonna charge a little bubble thing and he's gonna go. Yeah. I love both of these. No, no bias. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nice counter. Oh, oh never mind. He sucks. <laughs> the little bird is gonna go tweet, tweet. Right? <laughs> Say tweet. <laughs> All right, he got the bubble place. But he's gonna hop over the bubble. He's trapped in the. It's bubble. Still anyone's game. He'll still put, you never know game. with this. Game. He'll, watch. He'll put him in the bubble and take him to the head. Gonna put him in the bubble. He's gonna. He's he gonna get him off the side. First off stop. The side. Did, JV? I'm calling off the JV? top. You're calling off the side. Oh, nope. What are you calling off? Uh, the bottom. The bottom. Okay, take the bottom. And he ah! took him off the top. <laughs> that was the Look at side top. <laughs> Oh man, Dang Ramen Boy taking the third game. Jeez. If, you see, if I was playing, I, I, I'd right. be already done. If any of us It'd were playing, done. he'd win dominantly. <laughs> I play, this is a game no, for no, 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 no. I play a broken character. I play Ori, so. You play fine. Ori. Yeah, yeah, but Dang I've Robin never actually Boy's... seen Ori, but Ori sounds um, pretty cool. I think at GTX, like, Grand Finals was Ori Dittos. And, like, what stage is this? Uh, uh, something Abyss. It's Final Destination. <laughs> All right, it doesn't look like I have that on my map list, so we're not going <laughs> to use it. Hang on, I think I might know it. Let me check the map list. It's not on here. Uh, hang on. There's nothing that says the word abyss. Abyss? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Hey, let's go down. Oh, my God. It's all the same, actually. See? They're the same. Darn. Oh, it is all the same. I was wondering. Oh, well, then. Huh. 
All right, we have to lose game four scenario, and the bird isn't really tweeting; it's squawking now. <laughs> oh oh my god! Oh, and he's still living oh, nice. too. And the frog goes ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ri <laughs> Oh, oh, that's, that's interesting. That kill um, off the top. I just got to thinking. Frog goes, uh, oh. Spikes oh, in this game, they don't really instantly kill like they do in the other Smash games. This uh, isn't a Smash game, sir. This is an indie game. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, platform <laughs> fighting taking games. Taking him off that strong okay. attack. Because uh, you can up the uh, wall jump up B. Uh, so if, as long as it doesn't insta-kill you and you're still in hit stun, uh, before you hit the blast zone off the bottom, you can probably still recover. Which Ooh, is take them basically with the top like, clap. Uh, All right, so in the chat, someone just said they can't mash the bubble out, okay, and that this stage is okay. endless abyss. Endless abyss. Okay. Thank you, pathetic door. Thank, Thank you. you to the chat. We sir. actually have the chat. His name is actually pathetic door, sir. He is not <laughs> chat. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> squeak, squeaker, squeaker. <laughs> and he's gonna go for. Oh, he's been eating. Oh, he's oh. in the bubble. <laughs> oh, you, oh. Hear, you hear you take going no, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna do the rest of this commentary in my Kronk voice. Yeah. So uh, there it goes. Sorry, the side clap. Oh, he gets oh. the back leg, the little extended little <laughs> ribbit ribbit leg. Froggy, he gets the heel of that leg. Yeah. I love like how the little frogger meditates in the middle of the stage. It makes me feel real good. For some reason, I think of Joe from Family Guy. That's Joe from <laughs> Family Guy? Yeah. Like, can you say, hey, Peter, in that voice? Hey, Peter. All right, so I can't do the Yzma voice, but <laughs> yeah. I can do the Kronk voice. All right. And one of y'all has to try to do Yzma, so you guys could be like, pull the lever! And I'd be like, hey, pull I got that lever. lever. I don't know if it's the right one, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so uh, <laughs> Legend of Juilliard, Legacy of Juilliard, oh, just said oh, oh, he's nutted nine point. times during this stream. <laughs> Only a nine. plus entertainment. <laughs> a plus entertainment. All right, you're welcome, dude. I'm glad you're not after <laughs> me. Oh. <laughs> so much. Uh, so he just got that oh, spiky oh. spike with the froggy frog, and uh, what a way to end. What a way to end it. Let's go, Ron. Great tournament. Great tourney.